It is the second day of Tempo Seju, and the atmosphere is charged with anticipation. Families from all across the region make their way to the general town, dressed in their finest traditional attire. This is not just a festival, it is a time for families to gather, for the community to come together. For many, attending the Seju is a spiritual obligation, an opportunity to reconnect with their faith. Throughout the courtyard, the energy is vibrant. From the youngest child to the oldest grandparent, everyone is drawn into the sacred dance. As prayers are whispered and offerings made, the people believe they are accumulating merit. Blessings for themselves and for their loved ones. The Timpo Teju is famous for its captivating chum dances, each rich with religious symbolism and spiritual meanings. This sacred monk's dances, performed by both monks and laymen, brings to life deities. As the dancers move in rhythm, they not only bless the spectators, but reminds us all of Bhutan's deep-rooted spiritual values. One of the most iconic dances is the Sao Sachi, or dance of the stage and the haoons. This dramatic performance, staged on the first day, tells the story of the great Tibetan yogi Jitsen Menorimpa and his encounter with the hunter named Gimpa Doji. As the hunter chases a stage, he meets a meditating Satan, whose wisdom guides him to a spiritual awakening. The dance beautifully portrays themes of compassion and redemption, core principles of Buddhism as it leads the hunter from ignorance to enlightenment. We witness the Durda Cham, or dance of the Lord of the Cemetery. Four dancers dressed in skeletal costumes and skull marks march with powerful steps to summon the deities of the earth. This hunting dance serves as a painful reminder of life's impermanence, a central belief of Buddhism, teaching us that death is simply a part of life's natural cycle. As the teacher progresses, the Bardo Raksha Macham, or Dance of Judgment of the Dead, takes center stage on the third day. This dramatic chum illustrates the Tibetan Buddhist concept of the afterlife, where the departed soul is judged based on its deeds. The white god advocates for good deeds while the black demon highlights misdeeds, and ultimately the Lord of Dead passes judgments. It's a powerful reminder of karma reinforcing the moral consequences of our actions in life. Another spiritual highlight is the dance of eight manifestations of Padma Sambhava, where Guru Rinpoche's different forms, six peaceful and two rootful, are portrayed. This dance represents the Guru's journey of overcoming obstacles and reflects the power of his enlightened mind. Each step each movement leaves the audience in awe of his divine presence. Over the courses of three days, the performances also included the dance of the black hats, symbolizing the subjugation of evil forces, and the dance of the Lord of the Cremation Grounds, which purifies the mind. Together, these dances embody Buddhist philosophy, helping devotees reflect on life, death, and spiritual rebirth. As the second day of Timpu Teju comes to a close, the blessings of the sacred dance linger in the heart of all those who have witnessed them. Tomorrow promises more, more faith, more celebration, and more unity.